the Rural Agricultural Development Authority (RADA) continues to support our Jamaican farmers through training, information, and collaboration in efforts to enhance their business. Today, the team of RADA commends Michelle Black and Wigan Gordon, both successful business owners from the parish of St. Anne, highlighting their hard work as they continue to enhance the value of our food. Michelle Black continues to shine her light as she paves the way for a greater percentage of women to get involved in the farming sector, using her success as an example for them to follow. First of all, you have to have the passion for it. If you don't, forget it. You have to love it. There are so many other gratification, you know, um, but there are a lot of challenges. For us personally, we have water challenge, serious water challenge, even though we have put in um, thousands of gallons of water storage because we, we do harvest water. We still have challenges because of course if rain don't fall, we don't get water. So that is one of our biggest, biggest, biggest challenge. But there are so many other things. But water is our biggest, biggest challenge. I am of the opinion that the, the image of farming, I don't think it's right. I, you know, I'd love to change the image of farming and how people um, see farming, especially with females. Um, I want to be able to um, encourage women that this is not something demeaning to do. You know, you, you can be a proud farmer, a successful farmer. As a second national farmer, it's a proud feeling. Farming is a male-dominated career, so for women to, to be in it, for me, is, is so, so important. So, um, then that shows you that we know what you're saying, we, we know that it can be done. So, when we are successful, we are successful in every way, because we can actually show you that, hey, we are doing it, so what we are saying is so true. Right now, we are trying to get a well that is close to us. And I'm really hoping that somebody will see and, and, and help us to get this well that is very close to us. It's not being used and we are trying to get it, to lease it. But in the interim, what we're doing is conserving on water as much as we can. We put um, measures in place to, so that we are able to conserve on, what, on, on the lease that we have and stretch it. But other than that, we have nothing else. We would be just more than happy to get this well as our backup. We have seven greenhouses actually, 200 feet by 30. And greenhouses, they take a lot of water. We have fertigation and our outside crop is, uh, the entire area is um, irrigated. So, you know, we use a lot of water. We have herbs and lettuce. We do outdoor peppers as well, a few things, but we really need water and a lot of water for what we produce. Her collaborations with RADA for Success is one method used to assist other farmers in the parish to grow their yields and expand their business. RADA has helped us in giving us a lot of information. For us, we are not only doing a conventional farming, we have technology and um, science to back us up as well. So we have gotten a lot of information in terms of diseases and and all that support. Right now, we are actually doing collaboration in um, getting sweet yam heads to other farmers so that we have a widespread, especially in St. Anne here. Because at the moment, I think I have the most sweet yam. So we are doing that so that they can have it as well and it's not just in one area. Because you, you never know what can happen, diseases or anything. So we are now putting together a demonstration plot in sweet yam. I have ventured into a sweet potato. Brother is helping me with that as well because there are a lot of diseases that affect sweet potatoes. So we're working on that too and just telling me exactly how to go ahead so we can have good yield. For women who are already in the sector, I'm sure that they have had challenges that they, they, you know, they know the ins and outs, some of them. This is where your passion comes and this is where your resilience comes. You have to just Love it and do it and, you know, comes what may, you know, you, you get whatever gratification differently from financially. And don't be afraid to ask, you know, some people don't 
want to ask because I think other people are sharing information. That's another thing that sharing information is very important. You know, so that everybody can have have an idea how to approach a problem and that is very, very critical. Just ask and just don't sit down by yourself and don't know what to do. Ask. Meet Wigan Gordon, also of the parish, who has chosen to retire in the farming sector as he has seen the benefits of the sector after going through a number of other jobs. He now proudly boasts about his farm of 50 acres with 35 acres under cultivation. This success came directly from hard work and being informed about proper nutrition, pest control, inputs, water management, among other crucial information needed for the growth of his farm. Going to school, farming wasn't my first choice of career. My first choice was mechanic. After leaving school, I, I pursued my, my dreams of being a, a mechanic for a couple of years. And um, after a number of years in, in in, into the mechanic I, I, I wanted was to change. It wasn't my, it wasn't my dream anymore. I wanted was to change. So I, I, I started operating minibus for a number of years. Do well at that for a number of years after a while. That wasn't satisfactory to me. So I, I started doing some agriculture, some farming before leaving the minibus. But, um, leaving persons to work and, and when you come on weekends there was no work done so I said I have to take on this full time. After leaving the minibus I started the farm, was doing well, plant a lot of crops, outdoor crops like pumpkin and tomatoes and all of that but um, I went into a jam one, one year and without enough marketing I didn't have enough market at, 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 at first so I had a lot of spoilage and all of that, so my, my decision was to leave back farming again. But after going and do the TPD course to say, I'm going into tourism this time now, I, say, I, did, I, didn't, I didn't finish, after I finished the course, I, I, I run back right into the farming. For it, that seemed as if it, it was drawing my attention more. So I went back in, I got introduced to greenhouse technology, and things just start going up from then. So. This is where I'm going to retire. I, I grow sweet pepper. That's the main crop I grow in there. But from time to time, I rotate with some other crops so just for rotation. But my main crop in the greenhouse is sweet pepper. For, that is where I get the most profit from, colored peppers. On the outside, I do pumpkins, cabbage, hot pepper, and um, just a few other catch crops, so like little tomatoes and all of that. Hot peppers go to the factory. I supply workers with Caribbean foods and most of their product goes overseas. The, the peppers from the greenhouse are mainly colored peppers and the majority of that peppers goes into the hotel market for the tourist sector. I have to commend my workers for we, we no man stand alone and my team go through and um, monitor to ensure that as soon as there is a, a pest infestation we can attack it as early as possible so that it wouldn't become devastated to the crop. So scouting is, is very important and um, weed management. So if we manage the bush as we call it in Jamaica. His training received through RADA is assisted greatly in the growth of his business as he can now easily identify any changes to his crops. Pest management was one of the training that we do, so that is a key factor in ensuring that you have safe foods too. And uh, we, also, we, we also touch on food safety, so we, we work in those years to make ensure that we have safe foods and we put restroom in place. So having water on the farm is one other important thing. We tend to follow certain guidelines so that we have safe foods. We, we ensure that the chemical that we are using, that we follow the guidelines on pre-harvest intervals and all of those things combined. We chuck the, the portable water that is for, for drinking and, to, and for washing our hands and all of that and for spraying. But the water to water, the greenhouses are all from hot water harvesting. So we go to the houses and put it in the ponds and we use pump back the water to the tanks and gravity feed back to the house. 
Training is, is important in everything you do, for you never stop learning. Every day you learn something new. I have experience of persons in farming for over 40 years, and I'm just there for 15 years now. And um, a lot of them coming to me for information on how to take care of crops and how to take care of problems. Because they, they grew up in on one, using one thing for everything. People using all fungicide for, for, for insect problems. You have to can identify when you have an insect problem or a fungal problem so that you can, you can treat as cardinally. And, and one insecticide don't kill all insects. So you'd have to identify the types of insect and the type of chemical to use to take care of that.